Dear alumni from 22nd batch, faculty members, students, and chairperson Bioji, a warm welcome to all of you. I would love. It's a great honor to host all of you back on the campus and uh, we cherish those students' life having the nostalgic memory. Now, without wasting any further time, I would like to invite Sri Sri Krishna Kulkarni, Chairperson BOG and Calcutta to kindly address the audience. Hi guys, thank you so much. And welcome to I am Calcutta. I should not be saying this because you are the ones who belong to this place. Um, when Manish asked me, and I think Mali reached out to me, at that time I didn't know that uh, Chandru is in this batch. And so <laughs> when I saw his profile, I said, Yeah, Mera visit, return of investment. Ho gaya. I'm meeting him after Chandru after how many years? I've stopped counting. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the beauty of I am Calcutta grads. You can't get even one thing past them. <laughs> 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 anyways, so I was thinking uh, how to make this a little worthwhile for all of you and also for the institute because uh, I think such reunions, although there's a lot of uh, fun and uh, memories and those kind of things. Uh, there is also some seriousness uh, which we from the institute side like to bring to bear. Uh, we of course want you to remember us uh, fondly, affectionately, uh, seriously also. And, uh, at times we also want you to look at us as a place where you can come back, plug in, either you contribute or you you can plug into uh, continued education kind of stuff. So yes, you know this better than I do. And uh, many institutes have made this their USPs. And I've been trying to urge the community of faculty members at IAM Calcutta that let's go beyond the cool image of IAM Calcutta. And you know, if the alums come back, sometimes they come back at, at the place where you guys are, you bring your families, your children, and we should have uh, an ability to engage all levels of the family, not just the alum, but the alum spouse, alum children, and give them something memorable to take away. But I think we are still not there, and so I'll put this out right there, that uh, many of you will have superior ideas. Uh, if you have such ideas, please send them in in a formal <coughs> manner. Let's try to capture it and let's backpedal and pressurize Manish. Manish, now why are you? know, we need to do this. Uh, so that is, uh, so I was thinking how to do this. So what I've done is, I'm not going to address. Uh, I really don't have anything to say. So better, you will have quick questions, hopefully. Uh, and uh, I sought the permission of uh, the director who's sitting in the last bench and the other is that, am I allowed to speak free? And uh, I have two thumbs up, so there's no filtering. But there is a camera, I can see that. So I need to be very, very careful. Nowadays, a hot mic catches all kinds of stuff. You know, so. Anyways, so the first thing I'm going to do is to give you what we on the board, uh, along with the faculty, have dreamt from an infrastructure point of view for IIM Calcutta's campus. Uh, it is visible and it can make an impact. Uh, let me share my frustration with the campus. Every time I have come over the last five years, the Nala in front of me just destroys my heart the moment I come in. I tell myself, this is the preeminent institute of our nation. It's the first IIM, although I was I was associated through my father at IIM Ahmedabad. So today, I bat for IIM Calcutta, and uh, it just breaks my heart. That we have not been able to resolve that. And, uh, I have nothing against Nala, but 
does it have to be at our face? So, uh, and there are issues if you study it. And then the hostels are getting decrepit, you would have seen it. And it really amplifies when the rains come. Okay, uh, we do not have a sewage treatment plant. We have soap pits, 40 years old. So when the rains come, they overflow. And that goes into the water. Until I think two, till about a year and a half ago, till before COVID came, we did not even have municipal water. So our water was ground up. Uh, I, I'll, I'll show you the video. It's a six minute clip of the master plan for Iron Calcutta. And it's my belief that although one of these days I'll time out, I do wish to do a bait and touch in such a manner that it's an irreversible trajectory. You know, it's not one of those plans which was just a plan. So, uh, and I know that your affection will transcend any amount of affection that I may have built up over the last five years because you actually are this institute. So, Uttamda uh, Manish, can you play that clip? I had requested that about the week when I said yes to Mani yes. And uh, what I would like to share is that, so, you know, I am Calcutta, although autonomous after the act, it is still a public institute. <coughs> so we do have to follow, uh, we need to endorse that, uh, we have to follow GFR, that is the financial rules of government. So when we do anything, so typically projects of this size require us to follow tendering, etc. Et so in spite of all those kind of soft and hard hurdles, we did manage to select a very, very fine architect for <coughs> his contract. So this is the master plan which Hafiz has done after he uh, and his team have uh, actually uh, gone through our heads, faculty heads, uh, and many of your alums on our boards. So this is the result of that point.
questions the main brief to Hafiz and all of us was that they want to be behalf by it and they want to be net zero. So, uh, you must have seen that vegetable farm now. That was Hafiz's idea that if you really want to make a sustainable community, then you must bring in these things, which is now taking traction in other parts of the world. So, uh, there are a lot of ideas. Uh, this is the master plan which the board has approved. Now we're just about to get into the first phase, which will be the 900-seater uh, hostel, which will be air-conditioned. Uh, now, there was a big debate whether we should go air-conditioned. Uh, <clears throat> I personally felt that, you know, our time when all of us could slant out, maybe our kids are not there, and especially when you're charging fees up at this rate, get them to slum out is one not correct. The second, uh, there is incredible competition from private players. Uh, it's almost entirely focused on infrastructure and that's where the kids go because it, I mean, unless we become or we aim to become an institute which is just not another uh, distributor of management knowledge but right now most IIMs are still just distributors of knowledge rather than I don't I haven't seen any relevant knowledge uh, coming out I shouldn't be talking about other IIMs it's not fair Camera uh, but yeah, I think uh, at least I am Calcutta needs to shift gears. We just cannot be another school redistributing management knowledge got from somewhere, package it, and you got PGP or anything. Call it by what name you want. You know, so these are some thoughts I have, and uh, leave it to questions. You're welcome to ask any question. I have kept with me, I uh, know you guys are finance raises, I am not, but I have kept the finance figures right up here with me in case I need to dive deep to get something for you guys. So I have the numbers. Mali, it's open to you guys. Any question, any kind. What's your name? What's your name? Arvind Goyal. So you define what's enough. No, I say that for running operations. Obviously, we've been doing that for years. We are no profit, no loss. That's that's the mandate. We are not supposed to make profits. So why we are still uh, governed by the government rules? Why we not? are not taking funding. Why not? So you, it no, appears yeah. that's a constraint. Like it's not a constraint. You must never it's ever conflict these issues. The land on which you are sitting, the building that you have been sitting on. Just because somebody says ki autonomy le gaya hai, please don't go by such things. If I was to actually tot up the numbers on the amount of capital stock that the government has funded, it's not a joke. And as a citizen sitting in Bangalore, I think I own a half capital. And my representative is the government, we need another one. You know, I, 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 I am from that cohort who thinks that this bogey of autonomy has been taken away must be wasted. Unless you have factual reasons to say what exactly does that mean? It appeared that the no, appears. I mean, I, from what I can see, there's a wall there. There's nothing behind that wall. But if I just you know, look other side, there is something. Appearances can be disappear. Sorry for being. Yes, ma'am. This no is a PowerPoint kind of a thing, so I'm sure it won't look like this. I'm sure there's not going to be Everything is concrete, like the lake sides are also bricked up. And uh, you know, uh, ma'am, I didn't get I don't know. Dipra. Dipra. Dipra, when was the last time you were on? 10 years ago. 10 years ago. How much time did you spend? 4 days. You know, I have an issue where we have now a student community of more than 1,300, and it's going to ramp up. Uh, if you want to start looking at how to run this institute from a competitive point of view, we need funds. Uh, the only way to do it is either cut cost, cost, cut cost or raise revenue. And I'm not a cost, cutting cost kind of guy. I think we should spend time and energy thinking now. Do. So one of the straight ways is you bring in more students, or you have more executives. <coughs> you know, I mean, it's not rocket science. When you have such a large community, you can't have sickness. So when COVID hit us, 
so there was huge debate that you want air conditioning because it's your vents go through. And uh, with this kind of stuff, that's why I think we have soap pits. You know what a soap pit is? So when that overflows, you can actually smell sewage. I walk around the campus. So when all these guys are gone to sleep, at 11 at night, I will walk the uh, I know from the dogs down, I can smell. So I know. So I don't think I would like to send your children or my children to a place which is infested with mosquitoes. So you can't control it if you do not start control. So one way is to control the lake, putting fish, flora, fauna, which kind of controls. Another is to see to it that there is no wild overgrowth. I know, I know. Uh, you know, having a bit of wildness or nature or okay. untouched nature is be a USP which. Yeah, but no let me tell you, I tried everything, Vipra, I tell you. So when we went into this before that, I even said that I want you guys to actually survey the land. Then DC Roy gave us the land. Did we get what was given to us? I went to that extent because land is 135 acres. 70 plus acres is mixed. Okay. Now, if you want to start accommodating people on this campus, there is fine. So I said, before we get into this concrete jungle kind of stuff, can we see the, is the land actually how much? In the survey, we found that we have not got to that. So now we have, our perimeter that you see is actually 10 feet less than what it should be. So 10 feet times 3 kilometers is the land that was given us. So that also we have done. So you see walls broken down, you see, oh, that's because we said 10 feet matters to us. You know, I'm a Baniya, so I'm not going to let 10 feet go. But the fact is, where do you accommodate this? That's why we went high. And then, okay, so there have been multiple such thoughts. Uh, I wish we had more lands. Uh, so on this uh, subject, I will touch that there was a lot of uh, suggestions. So why don't we have something closer to the airport? You know, so actually we went and got ourselves five acres of land at Newtown. So that's another thing I can leave it with all of you guys. Uh, Suresh, you have uh, deep experiences in schools. And maybe you should advise us because I have left it with this director and Anju was the director also, I left it with them. But it hasn't, the needle hasn't moved on that. And I said, yeah, kuch to plan do that. 15 crore has been sunk into it. I'm paying property tax on it. I'm his director, I'm not paying it. But, uh, right now, the discussions that happen on the board is yeah, somebody may encroach, so you have to make a wall, or the wall ka style, and I'm thinking of myself, this land ka kata. How do you want to use it? Do you want to use it for exact, or what do you want to use it? It's not such a big deal. But then what happens is in this place, typically as because of the philosophy or maybe the nature of ours, uh, we've forgotten how to dream. And we have very convenient excuses, we are passive. I'm trying to beat my head, we are pallet to sapne dekho. Or sapne ko sakar karne ke lai, resources aa jayenge. But dekho to sapne, if you stop seeing it, nothing will happen. Mere I saw your name and I said, yes, sir, we have to talk about it. So I think, you know, you articulated something which is very, very important to management education in this country. Uh, particularly when you have a long-term goal of not just being the premier institution in India, but actually having a position of preeminence in the world. And that is where I think the next game is going to be played. And as you rightly identified, you know, we have been purveyors of, of education uh, created elsewhere or knowledge created elsewhere. And to my mind, the one thing that would enable Iron Calcutta to stand apart from every other institution in this country is the creation of original knowledge. And the more we are able to invest in that, the more we are able to invest, for example, in uh, big data and, and things like that, in terms of you know actual research emanating from that, working with companies like Chicago Foods, for example, as a time. So I'll hold you there for yeah. a minute because you know you're really churning in and uh, 
the camera around, but I don't want this going out because before we can say hello, somebody else will close the loop on us. You know, these are things, uh, there is no pattern on ideas. So, exactly what you're saying. So, how do you get relevance? So, Bhaskar, I mean that's not good. So, Bhaskar is this beautiful teacher with a beautiful mind. And together we work. And we said, uh, how do we start getting ourselves into research papers which have relevance? Not just it's a star. So, we actually tied up with the Capacity Building Commission of the Government of India. If you go to their websites, I think I am Calcutta is the only one still. So far. Amongst the IMs. Yes. Amongst the IMs, they're the only knowledge member. Mm -hmm. So what that does is we can work with the ministries. So when the Prime Minister says he wants a trillion dollars on investment in infrastructure, the backbone of that is the bureaucracy. Uh, and this is straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, and people at CGC. Typically, a trillion dollars, in the words of the man who is the Prime Minister, who will say that you have to pay for it. You have to pay for it. So, why does that? The root cause is that probably the many in the domain don't have the domain expertise required to manage such infrastructure, whether it's project planning, project financing, the works. So, then what do you do? You have to upscale them. Uh, and why go to a Harvard or a Chicago booth? The so, but then the reverse pressure is on IMs. Uh, if you are a CBC knowledge partner, then you have to create the curriculum. It could be synchronous, it could be asynchronous, it could be pockets of it. So we've started it, we've started the journey, Suresh, and I would invite you, although you are with the Great Lakes, plug in with us. I have put a clause in that, uh, and the faculty allowed me that, uh, that, uh, that is that. Uh, when we do this at our Calcutta, uh, and this is different from the other knowledge partners, we will approach the government as I am Calcutta plus our allies. Because you have an academic content duty there, and there is domain experience right here. So each one of you from me, and therefore I've translated that dream to my board, and therefore now it's gone to the faculty, and we are articulating it. Uh, uh, have we finished that? We're coming out with a policy for professors of practice. Okay, uh, but, but you know, as I said, policy making is a messy affair. It's details, and so it does become that. But if you guys can help, uh, Oscar, you and I don't have a problem seeking help by telling these guys, yeah, mujhe pata to madad kar. Do you have a problem with that? That's precisely where... So uh, we don't have a problem, boss. So we are willing to put four hands and say, yeah, we don't know, but our institute is our own. Can you help us put this thing together? And uh, let's pick up courses. Let's teach the government. So uh, that's what I wanted to share. That's, that one part has happened, CBC has happened. On the other part, uh, Oscar is also tied up with certain other things which I'm not going to mention in camera, if you check up. Wherein we will get ground data of original effort being done in various sections of rural India on developmental activities. And so you can cut this pie any which way. You will have finance issues, you will have development issues, you will have capacity building issues, you can have social mobilization issues. I mean, you take it whichever way. And I think from public policy to most of our groups will be able to get data from that genuine on-the-ground data. Now, when you spoke about data analytics, our course is now probably the 14th in the world within six years or whatever. So on that, I have a dream, but I don't want to put on the camera. Yeah. So, but my, my larger point was more to do with partnering, with your bringing on board people from the industry. Uh, you know, many of us have visited here uh, in, in positions of uh, power and export. Yeah. Uh, bringing on board academics from around the world, uh, you know, who can partner with us. Uh, and professors from I am Calcutta and the rest of the ecosystem, you know, if you if we have an even bigger dream, and that is my dream, is basically to take Indian academia in general to, to a higher plane 
rather than where it is today. And this is not an IIM problem because I think there is a larger problem in the entire But Suresh, if yeah. we as a community can make IIM Calcutta be the fourth Absolutely. front runner, that will in one shot differentiate us. And I think we should. We are uniquely positioned for it. We don't have negative runners. We have the academic capability. We have very deep alum relations. But somehow the twain don't meet, doesn't come together. And uh, in our internal discussions, I have multiple times maintained that although I have not met you guys, I know as an alum of some other institute that affection is unfiltered. It's, I mean, I don't need to have a second thought. You may have a second thought on my commitment to this institute, but not the other way around. No? And that needs to be really kicked in. So some of you guys need to uh, step up to the plate. It doesn't mean you have to be necessarily a part of the board or something. I think the board has one particular thing. The act is there. You have to deliver on the act and the rules. But we have many committees. I would encourage you to look at the committee of your choice and try to engage with the committees, give ideas. And uh, we like to, for example, uh, one of the alums is seriously has been asking, some of you may know his name, Sanjeev Ayer from Singapore. You know, so I caught out of Sanjeev, I said, yeah, enough of talk. <coughs> Let's get you to walk the talk. <coughs> so, you'll be surprised. We don't even have an academic administration here at the arts that we want to take a leave of it application but not that. You know, and why should a faculty member spend hours and minutes on something which can be done online? You come to a class, you have to sign a register. I am Bangalore swipes a card and goes through. So I shouldn't be negative, which is possible. But every negative has a positive opportunity, I talk about. Yeah, somebody. Preeti, yes. Yeah, Preeti, just speak. I think you're first. Yeah, so I think it's great. My name is Preeti. Yeah. For those who uh, don't know me. Can you use the mic? <clears throat> yeah, so I'm Preeti. Yeah. And um, I think that was a really brilliant uh, video that you shared. And thanks for that with all the effort that must have undoubtedly gone into putting it together. Uh, it did leave a few questions sure. in our minds, one of which was articulated by Vipra. But I think my overarching question and building on what Suresh raised is I'm not very clear about your dream okay. or the dream that you have. Why would you flesh it out from me? Yeah, I, I will do that because what I'm hearing um, and as an Alan Foss it pains uh, to hear those uh, issues. Yeah, what I'm hearing is a bunch of problems <coughs> with need fixing, yeah. right? So from the infra experience of the students which is absolutely shoddy from what you what i hear you say it's unacceptable obviously uh, and so that's on the one side and on the other side it is what the academicians are having to experience in the day-to-day -day delivery of the instruction but beyond all of that there's lots and lots of little themes in that video and i'm not getting a sense of where we want to take the institute and by when we want to get it there and how that's going to compare with its uh, with the choice set that academicians and students are going to have to confront when they look at IM Calcutta as an option. So, so when you break it into a couple of questions because thanks. my RAM is overloaded. Okay. Yeah. So I'll take the first one and the first one I want to first of all apologize because this is my personality that I have put the negatives in front and I have been told five years, you know, you have to negative all that. You have to understand my perspective and that is when I have a captive audience like yours, I want to share my troubles with you. you know, my joys, of course, they are yours. But you have made a cup bhara hua hai. So I look for people, I know jinke paas jaunga or bolunga, to ek backlash nahi aega. Aisa hope hai, maybe I am wrong. If I am, to I am spoiled with the video. So, negative overload ho gaya, to maafi ta ta. On the other parts of it, this thing, yeah, there are a lot of dreams in it. It's a 10-year plan. 10-year as in, it's supposed to be done in phases by some 20, 30, 3 or 36, I don't remember now. Let me put a figure on it when I took a thought on that because 
the money required is north of 2,000 crores. <laughs> Now, what will the faculty do? I think the faculty will answer, but I know the faculty today wants it. Because if you go to faculty housing, and if the granny in the house, or if the husband who is the spouse of the faculty, who the lady says, yeah, tap to it, so repair it, time lagta hai, wo yeah. You know, when you are doing that kind of stuff, I can't tell Bhaskar that you go back to your bloody lab and give me top rated research. So as a manager on campus, my job is to see to it that I release him of his pain. His 24 hours may say if I can give him 25 hours for his work, which is either research, publishing or teaching. I would even like to offload him of academic administration. It's not his job. It's not his job. Why should he need a GFR to figure out how to put a tender? There should be a team that does that. It's only when you unleash that, because Bhagavan has all the chores. What is GFR? General financial rules. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, there are certain things which we have to follow. The government prescribes it. One is the HR side, emoluments, rules, uh, how do you hire people, what uh, are their entitlements, are all driven by the 7th uh, Central CPC, what is it called? So, yeah, so I think just to, just to come Sorry, in, sorry yeah. please, please. Which is that, uh, sorry, I still don't have an answer. I, I mean, you know, I'm just going to try and process what Absolutely. you're saying. And I'm a brand consultant, so, you know, this is like kind of in the area of what's happening to this brand. And of course, Suresh has got the best name for this place, which is Great Lakes. He's taken it already. So we should probably have a. So we decided not, not to destroy the lakes. We yeah, decided we must, not to destroy the lakes. So the question really is uh, because we've seen his point on Aboriginal research and I'm kind of decoding it in my own way and I saw what you did about you know agri and growing uh, food and all of, yeah all of that so what is the desired positioning infra is one part Tell me one thing, what, how do you see the desired positioning instead of me saying anything you're the brand consultant I'm not student so what positioning do you see because once you articulate that for me I'll tell you where I want to go so let's have, let's have a chat about it because you've obviously done a lot, more, a lot more time you've spent invested in thinking about it. I think we are preeminently positioned. I don't have a bias on that. What I think is we are not achieving what our eminence deserves. I'm using the word carefully. There is a difference I make between what our eminence deserves and that is a perception that the country has on what I am Calcutta means. I'm not saying what we deserve. Yep, I get you. So if I tell somebody outside that I'm associated with I am Calcutta, my market value goes right there. Am mm. I being true to that? Is where I touch the stone and measure myself on my performance on the board. And I would wish that each one of us does that, whether you are as an alum out there, or some, somebody is a teacher, somebody is a retired teacher, I do that. But I get a feeling there's much scope. Undoubtedly. And that this is again not absolute, it's relative to others. For example, if you take an underpart, immediately it's A, B, or C. So, yes, ma'am. Yeah, so very impressive ambition and uh, and I understand that taps shouldn't leak and sewage should overflow. But if we come back to a campus that looked like this, it would have broken our hearts. I know. And uh, I think there was, um, and I think we all speak from the age at an age that you know, when we were young, life was better. But I think there was an innocence and uns spoiledness, that's not a word, but I'm using it, about the time here, which I think has been snatched away. And I think I am Calcutta retained it maybe for longer than the A and the B, you know, which became very sort of corporate and 
you know, we had the Mavericks and, and, and I think those are the ones that actually changed the world. I mean, I met, uh, you know, I think two, three years ago, the new batch that was coming in and the Dean of Admissions had invited Vivek and I and had the bar to speak to these young, wide-eyed uh, kids. And I was telling them what Kwan Am Calcutta was, and you know, the jetty and the tire and the conversations and the late night Maggie's and and you know, which which has become so much a part of who we are and you know and and we don't we don't talk about that because none of it is ready. And now we are a serious it's institution. All there. It's so all the there. edge, the positioning has been eroded over time. You know, I'm character there was a place of madness. They didn't, you didn't have to be that, I mean, I know people who went to interviews not wearing a suit because it didn't happen and it didn't matter. You become what you can be and of course a lot of it, but it's gone. Nobody has snatched it away. It's the flow of money. I walk, I walk. But if you do this. Okay. What would you like me to do? Actually, I think the, the real question here no, I didn't finish to her. The innocence of Maggie and other animals. I, I'm not picking on Maggie. I understand the spirit of what you're saying. But the generation has changed. It, the generation has changed. The way they operate on campus is not the way you operate on campus. But Chris, I agree that the generation has changed. Yeah. Are they are they requesting for or are they anticipating to be studying in that kind of an environment? I'm not sure yet. Okay, how about, let me let, 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 let me just complete my point. But I think certainly my generation and the current generation expects a kind of a minimum level of environment in which we live. I'm coming back to the campus after 34 years. Okay, uh, nothing has changed. So I, I was I was are you happy about it or are you unhappy about it? I mean, no, when I, when I say nothing has changed, I mean the optics. The no, so the, the, the White House has become a yellow house. That, you can't so, just say it and not take a, So nothing has changed. No, no I'm telling you, I'm, 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 so I'm, is it a good thing in your heart or is it on the other side? On the other side. Right. So on the other side. You wish that something changes. Absolutely. But but does it change to the extent yeah. that you are dreaming? Probably it's a nice dream to have. This is not my dream. This is the Who's result a... of the board and the faculty and the students together. And I did not, I tried to attenuate it to some extent. And this is the attenuated version. Perfect. Okay. But, but my point being, my point being, I think there are some baby steps which need to be taken in the short term just to make the, calling it living conditions, okay, very, 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 uh, I think the living conditions need attention. You know, and uh, I know people come here with dreams. They, like you said, slum it out. Or it's very romantic to just to say that I'll slum it out. But if you really have to slum it out and then still go and get a, uh, take a midterm the next day, uh, I don't know, man. I mean, uh, and I speak to the students. Uh, I walk into their messes. Uh, and again, it will sound very negative, but I actually went into the mess. You have to go to the mess where the rice is cooked. The brother pulls the water out from the ground. That water is sitting next to this. So you're, you're reiterating my point. Absolutely. I, I think it's good to when dream When I that. see that kind of stuff, I cannot but come down heavily on that. I can't. I think so. Can, I, can I again say one book? But let's let, let, let that not hijack this discussion. There's so many positives. So, oh, absolutely. Uh, just let's just put that on the parking lot for some time. So, yeah. so, one, so, one, so one, one, he wanted to ask something. Go ahead. Okay, so I was just going to see a couple of things. Ajay, turn it off. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I was just going to see a couple of things. One is that what you showed us was a infrastructure dream. It's already started. And the first phase is launching. Perhaps infrastructure, after all, is a platform to support something. So and that's happens? something, not just that, basically a whole set of operations, digital vision, and all of that, right? So, and and starting from starting from the infrastructure, I think 
the real and, and I got where Poonam was coming from, which is saying, Oh my god, this is so drastically different than do we really need it? Versus the point of you cannot have things falling apart and the place looking exactly the same and you know, rainwater issues, etc. etc. Obviously. But what I don't know is 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 the best answer what you got on the screen or is the best answer somewhere in between? And Probably it's got to be driven by the fact that it has to link in the rest, you know, we don't know the rest of the picture which you know. So I felt uh, before Suresh comes here, I'm, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, the picture that you know and I know is probably identical except for the numbers on it. Because there's nothing hidden, everything is transparent. What you see is what you get. Why I said we need infrastructure for revenue because without this you won't get revenue. We don't have rooms for hostel, hostel rooms for kids. And now this is not an era where you compete, you, now you collaborate. So we have joint programs with IITs and all. So we, we have, get that fully. When we came here 10 years ago, we were slumming it. So that's part of the reason we're not here right now. Yeah, but we're not here because of the government. So there is an urgency <laughs> for hostel rooms. <laughs> there is an urgency for that. And the backup urgency is to raise resources for them, which we are trying our level best. So, uh, uh, Suresh, I'll just touch on that. So one of the things we have done is we created Section 8 company of the Iron Calcutta Government Management Company. Uh, it's entirely managed, the board is having this. And uh, I think the first equity money will be. I just created the finance community to and, uh, and to improve line of sight, transparency, so you know that you've given something, has it gone there. So there will be one to one correspondence. So you give X, you know X has gone for this. So there will be a deal increase. So that kind of stuff is happening with the help of our money. And this is a phased out thing. Uh, it will happen in some future boards and chairmen, if they want to destroy it and change it, there's freedom to do that. But what we are on the anvil of about to do is to tender for the 900-seater hostel because we don't have room. We need Haskar has been after me saying that it's a permit. Can I, can I come in here? So to say something. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, sorry. Go ahead. No, I just wanted to say, you know, uh, it is probably important to break down the problem to various parts. If you look at, uh, so we have, seem to be going a little bit round and round. So you have a basic governance issue. One is, like you said, soaking tanks. You don't need to do much or if the mess is not hygienic and uh, you don't get served clean food. So there is a show and tell. That means whatever we have, we operate at the best possible way and uh, then you say that, okay, the next part is I need infrastructure. You know, I need to build new rooms, new facilities, new labs, etc. whatever else you need to do. And then there is the third part, which is the academic aspiration, which says that if I have these two things. Uh, so you will hear from all these guys that when we come in, the first part, you know, the show and tell, you are not saying or we did not see or we could not perceive that look these guys have made the best of whatever is there you know that means so we were talking about there is a Tata Hall right? and he was taking pics at some of the Tata guys in the room I said I said that look this was built with the explicit understanding that it will be maintained well by the institute no, you don't maintain. It goes, becomes shambles and you leave it like that. Then next time if you want some funding, do you think uh, you are encouraged? No, you are not encouraged. A simple thing like a tire, you know, there is a tire sitting next to the lake. Now so that becomes some tree plantation area. And uh, the, we walked into the canteen. Uh, I don't know if you guys walked into the canteen in the OH. We walked into the canteen in Shagor Hall. Yeah, it so looks less less than enthusing as far as a young appetite is concerned. And it is not uh, like big time, some 2000 crore budget or anything. This is simple daily management. 
So if we cannot crack this daily management, once you crack the daily management thing and then you earn the respect, then you get far more support from whichever body, whether a funding body, a government body, a government body. There are Nam Pavita Ramans there. I don't think you should uh, discount I am Calcutta. If there is a failure, it is on my individual part. And I genuinely receive apology because I have colleagues here. We have we, we, we want love and affection. We are not making a pitch to you. We want you to go back to good memories. Yeah. Hey, Krish, the fact that 30 plus of us are congregated here, yeah. coming from all parts of the world, right. I, I think that love and affection still is there. Yeah. But, to, but to Anand's point, you know that First impact coming in after 34 years is underwhelming. May I say something? Bhaskar, you want to add something? To may, this? I, may I say something before? No, let Bhaskar have a counter to it. Bhaskar being on this campus for uh, Bhaskar, say something on our behalf. You know. Um, I'm going to speak of my own words. No, no, I um, have been quietly listening to all of you. I'm the current dean, academic, about a year old in this position. And um, I was a little delayed because we have some visitors at home in the morning, my cousins came in. No, what I understand, and I think that's absolutely relevant, is that we are talking quite a bit about the infrastructure, which we all, I think, agree is highly needed. Uh, we also realize that there are certain short-term things, which I think Amin was also referring to, need to be done. Let me come back to the question that I don't, I don't, I forgot your name, which Priti, you were asking about the, how do you want to position ourselves? Because I think what you wanted to listen is go beyond the infrastructure. Now, can you very quickly? Um, okay, okay. Let me tell you very quickly about an exercise that was done by a board committee along with faculty members, all faculty members, for a very long period, for almost a year. And that was kind of our breathing air during the COVID times, because that's how we were dreaming together about the thing. We were thinking how to position the institute properly, where do we want to be? say 10 years, 20 years down the line. And everybody agreed that we want to make IAM Calcutta the most preferred institution. So that's the dream that we wish to have. The question is preferred institution for whom and preferred institution how? So when we were talking about preferred institution for students, we were talking about more gender diversity in the class, more diversity in general in the class, and now we have a policy which we have started implementing. When we are talking about more, uh, a most preferred institution for faculty, we were saying that we want to be, indeed, coming back to your point, Suresh, that we want to be globally recognized. And if you look at Amkalkara's publication at par with international recognition, there's a, something called the ABDC rank, ranking journal list called Australian Deans, uh, Business Deans uh, Councils journal list, which is very well accepted across the world. It's one of the major three journal lists. If you look at I'm talking about faculty publications, coming back to your question of original research, we realize that our publications have been doubled in the top tier category in the last two years. This is might be because of the COVID times because people are actually writing more sitting at home. But the question that we started asking ourselves is that yes, we do have global recognition, but do we have local relevance, the impact that you are talking about? Do we have national relevance, the impact? Okay, but I've already published this. Both very good. What is our relevance? 
in tomorrow's management education, which is possibly not going to look at only journal publications, but how we bring back things to you, how we have major partnership with you. So it's it's that's that's our, that became our motto, and we have already started working towards local relevance. The highlight or the handshake with the capacity building commission and working with them or the highlight in order to get more data from rural uh, grassroots level of the country and try to resolve that with design thinking approach are two flavors of what we have started. We have also started working on how to bring in more faculty. What can we give faculty in order to do it? So internationalization is one of the major flavors that we have started getting. So in the last one year itself, we actually had, I think, three, Manish, three, uh, four faculty members from across the world coming to IIM Kakata. Currently, we have one faculty member from Manchester University spending the sabbatical year. So more internationalization flavor so that faculty can actually work on both fronts. So that's making, that's our positioning that we take our research globally but actually work at the grassroots level locally. One of the things that faculty have been talking about quite a bit is how do we have more industry interaction? I mean, those of you who work with uh, not industries, but who closely with academic institutions know this. This is a perennial problem that we as management is actions face. So one of the things that we have started saying is that can we have a new executive PhD? People who are working so that we actually tie up with them Faculty start working data from the industries and we work very closely with the government, with the industry. So executive PhD is one. Internationalization, when we are talking about, we have started talking quite a bit about partnering with SAR countries. So we wish to now have a space for people coming in from Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, and start working with us on their PhD programs. So, I mean, the Things that you have seen, you know, partnering with foreign institutions, faculty publishing, original research, have all been there. This is part of the dream. I agree. I, I agree this is part of the dream because currently we don't have a single space. So anybody comes in and wants to stay at Dan Calcutta, apart from the MDC, we don't have a room. So this has to be part of our bigger dream. But that's not just the dream. The dream goes much beyond that. We have in executive education, our dream as a result of that one year strategy exercise is that yes, we are doing very premium programs. What about MSMEs? What about NGOs? Why can't we? Because that will also bring in feed into faculty research. So that's one of our new positioning that we have already started working with MSMEs. We have already started, and, and, and it's not that it's the same pricing. But it's not about the price, right? I mean, it's about working with them and seeing what Alcatara could do for them. So bringing back, I mean, you could already feel what I'm trying to say. Master what I'm trying to say, just let me finish by saying one sentence. You would remember, I'm married to an Alcatara alumnus. So I hear these questions that you are saying throughout the day. I'm not an Alcatara alumnus. Um, the flavor of I am Calcutta is that, as you are rightly mentioning, those mavericks, those you know things that we we don't care about things in the class, but we just care about what we can do for our students, for our country, locally. That impact, and I come back to Suresh, that flavor of impact, which you don't see in other I am so much. They talk about they are very corporate. They are talking about publications only. They are talking about our student placement only. We do talk about impact, and we are going to talk about impact a lot, lot more than others. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, so last time, just to add that one, one. Shaker had a question. No? Okay. Well, actually, I didn't. I had a question. I don't need a mic. But uh, I think you answered a lot of the question. You know, I, I just saw a lot of the discussion was around infrastructure, whereas the institute is about intellectual excellence. Yes. And I think, and I think all of us owe our lives to the time is spent here. I think a. We are all very grateful. Uh, and secondly, I think I, I'm very really happy to hear what you said because infrastructure is what it is. I mean, this is India, and I, 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 you don't make the infrastructure in American university overnight. You can, 
women too. And I'm actually very happy to hear what you're saying about the work towards intellectual excellence, academic excellence. And you know, culture is evolving. You know, we shouldn't live in the past, we should live in the present and the future. And I'm actually very happy to hear what you said. So I have uh, just one additional comment, and, and this gets back to I think uh, what Poonam and, and Preeti were also talking about. Uh, see the, and I'm going to start with an anecdote. Uh, so when I was at uh, Chicago Booth, uh, before it got named as Booth, it was University of Chicago Graduate School of Business, and. The buildings were old, really, really old, 100 years old, okay? And there was a sense of pride in walking down the corridors where there were Nobel Prize winners. Who, and I, you know, I was so proud to share, you know, the space right next to a Nobel Prize winner as if by, you know, some kind of diffusion I would get some of that knowledge, right? <laughs> but, but the point I'm trying to make is there is a character to every institute, right? What is I am Kolkata all about? What is the character of this institute? Who are we? Why are we different from everyone else? And the danger in making a space which is modern is that you become sterile and you lose character. And so anything that we do, well, I, I, I don't know about the design and so on, and I'm not getting into those aspects, but in terms of articulating a position for the institute, it needs to be necessarily different from everyone else in terms of what we do, the kind of activities that we perform, the kind of research that we do, the kind of, uh, you know, the, the students that we attract. I don't know. I mean, it could be a whole bunch of things that we bring in here, which basically helps us differentiate ourselves from everyone else. And that is critical in a world of management education that is getting increasingly commoditized with more online players coming into the, into the mix. You know, things, you know, we cannot take anything for granted anymore. I couldn't agree more, Suresh. In fact, uh, I remember, and this is a common joke among the faculty members, that when we interview a faculty and a faculty member is looking for something very different, like me, might have excellent combinations, might be really good. The faculty members say that maybe, you know, maybe you'd go to some other I and I, we don't see that fit. So that is the I am Calcutta culture. What you are talking about is that how our positioning and our vision for tomorrow is inextricably interwoven with who we all are. And I'm not differentiating between you and us. I mean, we all are what we carry. Because we all carry the I am Calcutta within us. So how we are going to carry that tomorrow? And I think that flavor of that impact is going to be paramount in what we do. I mean, regarding infrastructure, we do need infrastructure. I mean, yeah. you also realize we do need to solve the short-term issues about the water in the elements. But we also need to dream about getting more students for different programs. The accreditation agencies are constantly asking us, yes, the BGDBA program is amongst the best in the world. Well, what is the number? And we start fumbling because we know but the moment we say that we only hire 60 people, that's nothing in a country you know, like India. Sorry, you have a question. Hi, I'm Rohini. And uh, I guess I just wanted to say a couple of things. One is that, I mean, you were asking us what would our dream be, right? So my dream is that 100 years from today, I am Calcutta is still here, far better than where we are today. Um, and you know, is the preeminent institute. That is honestly my number one dream because I have seen other institutions crumble and it can happen to us as well. I okay. absolutely So that was just one thing I wanted to share with you. That, um, and then the second thing I wanted to say is, um, I feel as though um, we are not maybe sufficiently thinking about things from the student's point of view and what they might want. Um, beyond, you know, toilets that flush and air-conditioned rooms. Um, and I could be wrong because obviously I don't know every all the work that has gone into what you've done so far. But, I mean, a couple of things I do know is that the students of today and young people of today are very, very keen to make a difference 
in the world and in the community. Um, and then I think the second thing that we can't forget is, you know, sustainability. And uh, actually the one thing that stood out for me from the video you presented was that vegetable garden. Um, because that's the one thing I could see that had something to do with sustainability. So I guess my thought is that, and I love everything that you said, mm -hmm. Professor. My Just suggestion, <laughs> my suggestion would be, like, for us to get super proactive in getting our students' perspective and point of view into this, because if we are going to be number one hundred years from now, it will be because our students needed that, not because we needed that. Uh, also, I just want to share with you. You know, um, in part of that, my wish is. We should be number one very soon in 100 years. But uh, when you have it, when you're in educational institutions like I am, Calcutta, the preeminence and success of the alums is one pillar. But high scholarship of the teachers is probably the most preeminent pillar. So, uh, yes, uh, but unfortunately, the discussion seems to have. Uh, factor that's in dirty stuff are about water and all that. That's probably a minuscule part of the things that we have done. Asta articulated it, so I'm extremely grateful. I hesitate to articulate on the academic side because that is their forte. And he didn't know exactly how much to say and when to say. So I typically, unless he gives me the permission, I generally don't go into that area. But please be rest assured that Bhaskar and I and all of us work very closely as a team, and Pastor is not somebody who will just stand there if I said something. If he doesn't agree with that, Pastor, you would definitely say, I'm sure. So, uh, I mean, you can pick me up on that. But uh, I feel very reassured that when we have such people on the academic side with whom uh, the future academic trends, uh, not just the MBA, but there are so many other courses the kind of courses, curriculum review, uh, what content to bring in, at what rate to bring in, how much to bring in. Uh, I think it's been done very efficiently. Very quickly to uh, just make a comment. We had the Equis accreditation, the European accreditation team visiting us recently. We are the only, I am currently in the country, to have a compulsory course on sustainability in the first year. We are the only I am, which is heavily appreciated by them. So they say that money. Yeah. Okay. Yes, on your side. Uh, my name is Sanjeev. It's a very simple question, academic oriented. Uh, in terms of the degree, my question is we can't hear you. Maskar, you're asking yeah. in terms of the degree versus the diploma. Yeah. The diploma. <laughs> Hello? Just a quick academic question, uh, academics related question, in terms of the degree versus the, uh, the diploma, in many instances, not just in higher, uh, you know, applying for higher education or doing anything else, this often becomes a kind of a sticking point when you're asked a simple question, do you have a postgraduate degree? And all of us have to say, no, we have a diploma. And very often that becomes a non-viable option for any kind of further education or qualification or whatever. Is there any direction or thoughts that is being taken on that or let me just say that this is the reality and you've got to address Retrospective effect. Retrospective effect. Retrospective effect. It's already, it's already done, Pudji. Pardon me? You've already well, done. It's a degree now. It's a degree now. It's a, uh, it's a degree, it's a degree, degree now. You can get a degree also now if you want the idea. <laughs> uh, I can. Yeah. I can actually apply and they'll give me yeah, a degree. That's what I hear. upgrade yeah. yourself. I heard. Oh, is that true? I yeah. think yes. after the act, I don't think all so. degrees are MBAs, but yeah. I don't know whether it is retrospective. It's not retrospective. It's not retrospective. Not retrospective. But uh, it's, sir, it's I not. Clear cut again. Come on. Can I ask? 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 Can and who would come from, say, I'm out about and do their studies. They had a diploma, so, but I don't think it ever matters. Uh, I, I'm not I, sure. I, I, if would, it I wouldn't ask the question if it didn't matter. I mean, I'm not, I'm not that, I mean, not that 
Yeah. Okay, it does matter. <laughs> okay, it does matter. Okay, uh, okay. Um, maybe it does. Uh, well, now it's a uh, now it's a. Yeah, so, can I ask a question? Is there any possibility where it was not open? I am glad the wives are listening in. This used to happen 34 years ago. Most of the questions just before lunch hour. So similar nature. So we should move along. Thank you very much. From you before yeah, lunch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lunch, okay. I, we have to wind up. Uh, my name is Deepak. See, to me, uh, institutions are not about buildings. It is about people who study there and become alumni of that institutions. That is what gives the prestige and whatever it does. We have seen IIT Kharagpur was the first Kharag IIT, but it's now Bombay IIT which takes the 60% of the top 100. We are still not the first choice in India. I am Ahmedabad still remains the number one choice. What are we doing to become number one choice first as in terms of an IM in India? Uh, I refer this question to those who are from IM. It's a difficult question and uh, we are doing a lot, but uh, Bhaskar, you want to take that? No, that's, uh, no that, that's exactly the question. You know, when we started the strategic exercise, that's precisely the question that we were asking ourselves, that if we want to make Aunt Calcutta the most preferred institute in India, what, what do we need to do? What do we need to do for faculty? What do we need to do in terms of our research? What, to do, what do we need to do in terms of our executive? What do we need to do in terms of our collaboration and partnerships? What do we need to do in terms of offering different things to our students? And I agree that it cannot be infrastructure. Infrastructure is one part of it. It has to be many more other things. And this is precisely what we, the whole strategic exercise that we did, which was approved by the board this year, talks about the the whole gamut of but things I that it just took for a minute. You were near answering this together. So I wouldn't capitulate on the infrastructure with that Although I hear the, what they are saying, you know, just before lunch and over one hour shooting the breeze is one thing. Deliberations will happen, and there's a reason that infrastructure was chosen. You know how hard, hard it is to hire faculty. For what reason? It's not just a matter. So, and the deliberations will happen. So, but again, if you get into it, it all sounds negative. So let's just wait for lunch, and uh, yeah. anyone wants individual pockets we can discuss, but uh, rest assured that uh, myself individually and all of us collectively are deeply seized with the issues, we are deeply seized with the philosophy, we get the image, uh, and we don't want, don't want to touch it or destroy it, if at all, if we can, we want to add to it. Uh, I understand the emotions behind it because yesterday I am on the bar talked about <coughs> the logo changing and all and I'm on those groups where I I know how many hearts are broken. So uh, I don't have an answer whether it can be stopped or not stopped, but yes, we will not do anything which is so deliberately uh, hard assed that you know it has to go through some kind of a deliberation. That's happening. Uh, you you should know that the board has alums. These committees have alums from as far back as fifth, sixth, seventh batch, who have deep experiences, who have views, and who as young as 25th, 26th, 27th batch. And they're working, there are faculty members, and uh, this is a culmination of all that. Uh, yes, it could fall short of expectations. Another batch could come and say that this beats our expectations. That's just how it's been made. So, but I want to reassure you that. We are deliberating through it, it's not being handled. Yeah. So, one last question. My name is Ajay. Hi, After Ajay. this class, yes. what is the homework? What do we have to do? <laughs> I, I, I'm still not here. I'm not here. I have to go now. No, no, please articulate what do you want us to do. Like, what do you want us to do? Yes, 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 yes. Only lunch. We had no agenda. But what would you like us to do so that it helps you in your objective? Engage with us. Okay.
Okay. At any area of your comfort, if you want to know more about something, okay. the director is there, the dean, external relations is there, I am there, he is there, all of us are there. Just so we write to you. You can write to me, all you can write to dean, you can write to director, you can. Anyway, I mean, just if you have some ideas of how to engage or how to contribute. Sanjeev, Dr. Sanjeev. He's got a good idea. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. 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 Yeah, that makes sense.